Hey all, I am Yuvaraj from the team Logic Lots. Our project is to replicate the Apple landing page. I will show you the actual Apple landing page. So this we are going to replicate it. If you observe the original Apple landing page, it has a navigation bar with different links and a background image, a main content and a footer section with some icons over there. So let's do it. We are going to use HTML and CSS to do it. So for that, we are going to create a folder like this to contain all the files required for the project. And the base application we are going to use is VS Code. Now I'm going to open the folder. Here is the folder I have created for this project. With uh, I have already included the image in this folder and I have created a file named index.html which contains all the html files and I have created the css file which contains all the css code so let's start our code uh, starts with the basic html tags so I'll add the basic html uh, that is the main meta tag the head section in this if we if you look into it, the code here uh, in the sixth line we can we added the external css file that we have created that is styles.css and we have also given the title apple here then we have uh, also linked the font of some cd and files so that the website is compatible with the icons so it, this is the head section if we move on to the body section the body is the main uh, con uh, part where the, all the content of the site maximum contains so the body content here it goes here is he is the first of the first half of the body content which contains the navigation uh, icons if we go live i'll go live if you're on the live server we can see here the output has the navigation uh, links which we have provided here the ul uh, means list items and the li means the link links which we have provided here the hrefs are empty if we want we can give the urls to this so that if the user clicks on them he can redirect to the other page which we have provided there so again we can see another division called icons here we have given search bar and a shopping bag icon which we can see in the output uh, window then if we move on uh, to the next step that is here we can see i have added uh apple logos then we have move on to the main content here the main content consists of the font or a uh, main uh, text we have provided uh, as per the original site we have used the same uh, text over here it is uh, h1 refers to the main heading and h2 element represents other now if we move to the other section we have given this then content and then we have here here it goes here is it is the last footer section i think ah yes and we have here given we used span tags which represent links especially so we have uh, named it as this class as link also here the href is empty if we if we create if we want we can add a url which can use it to redirect if we click user clicks to learn more let's finish this by closing and add, add all closing tags here So I have added all the closing tags. So we have completed uh, the HTML part of this project. So let's see the live. Here we go. It shows everything which we have given here. 
then let's move on to the CSS part of the code. We'll code it step by step. For the navigation bar, we have used this. Let's copy this. Let's close this. If you see the output after adding this, you can see that the text is aligned and uh, some changes were made. Then if we, now we want the navigation board to be horizontal, so we'll add the next part of the CSS code. Okay, let's see the output, how it goes. Here we have used flex, which is generally used to arrange the links in the horizontal manner. So the uh, the the function display has several uh, elements which can be used like flex or like uh, relative or like absolute. These kind of functions can be used with respect to the web page we are going to develop then if we see here here we are going to add uh, the list the unordered list uh, CSS each class has its own CSS so here we get adding this we have given the right margin 10 pixels and the display to flex which makes it horizontal and the 10 pixel space has been given to each uh, list element of the list if we move on to the next part that is the text part of the navigation bar so we have he here we have given the font family and uh, other kind of things Let's see how it goes. Let me connect. Okay. We can observe, uh, we observe that uh, the link color has been changed to black. If we compare the previous output to the present output, the font family has been changed and the color is added. Next, if we move on to the next part, here we uh, will add an hover effect to the navigation bar, which makes it even more user interactive. Let's see how it goes. If you hover over it, we can observe that the color has been changing. So it became a uh, somewhat more user interactive then we will add some CSS to the class of icons and shows, dot shopping which represents the icons font or some icons so there may be there may not be big change just a space between these icons which makes the site look even more appealing. Next, if we move on to the photo section, I have uh, used dot photo as the class for the photo photo container, which contains the image, which is uh, basically the background image. So I have uh, given the position as a relative, uh, which means the Background image is adjusted in the way that it is equally positioned from the horizontal and vertical axis of the screen. Uh, irrespective of the screen size, means it, it is uh, responsive. We can say like that. If we see the output. One second. Here I have uh, forgot to add the photo section itself. 
Excuse me. Mm, let's go. Here it is. So here uh, we have added the uh, class called photo, which I was forgetted of earlier. Here the image uh, is linked here, which is already in the folder. Here the alt text uh, referred to some uh, we gonna we're gonna fill some kind of text here which describes the image which we are used. Uh, this is necessary for uh, any kind of website to be more compatible to the users who are visually disabled. So we have added uh, the CSS for the photo too. So let's see the output how it went. So here we can see the image. We need few more uh, CSS stylings. Uh, here we need the font to be overlaying on the image. So let's do that. So we have done it. Uh, then if we move to the main content, the class main content. Main content uh, is the text that is overlaying on the background image. So we have added it. So that uh, I'll show the output and I'll explain the code now. So we can see this text is uh, clearly uh, placed in the center of the screen. Okay, now I'll explain the code. So the class main content, the portion is absolute, which is, and we have uh, a condition at top, which is padding of 90% and left with 50%. And we have used the transform function and align function to make the text exactly at the middle and placed properly with proper formatting. Finally, we're gonna add main content font size. We have ordered color and its positioning. Now we have ordered uh, the font size too. Let's see the final output how it went. There we go. Here is the final output which we have obtained. So this is the output guys. Uh, let's compare it with the output that we have aimed for. So this is the output we are desired to create. And this is what we made. A lot different right uh, but we are in learning phase so we're gonna improvise more and more to achieve more realistic and relevant websites thank you Ko, thank you for giving me giving me this wonderful opportunity this is your signing off from the team logic lots